I'm really excited to be going to South by Southwest EDU. We've got a great workshop we've been working on. It's gonna talk about how we can use project-based learning, teaching with a narrative, so integrating a story, and then how we can use some open resources to get students really learning and get them really engaged. This workshop's really gonna stand out at South by Southwest because we're not only sharing some of the open resources and the tools like ChronoZoom, but we're also sharing some of the educational framework we've been using. So we've got the ChronoZoomers Guild and we've got zombie-based learning. And we'll use those as examples of how we can engage students and get them learning really deep. South by Southwest Education Week is a unique opportunity for teachers to see new tools that can really revolutionize what's happening in the classroom. We're just really excited to have ChronoZoom be a part of that. Last year, ChronoZoom won the South by Southwest Interactive Award for Education Resource. This year, we've developed an authoring tool that lets anyone use ChronoZoom to create a timeline that captures any period of history. ChronoZoom is going to give teachers a new way to present historical information, to encourage their students to develop content, to create timelines, to share their own learning with their classmates and with their teachers, to show what they're learning in their classes. ChronoZoom is not a content destination resource. You shouldn't go to ChronoZoom and expect to find timelines that cover everything that's ever happened in history. ChronoZoom is a content creation tool, and the authoring system is really designed to make it easy for students and teachers to create their own timelines. We can build stories that students will really respond to and get deeper into the curriculum. Integrating a story or a narrative into project-based learning isn't just about having a fun layer on top. It's really about integrating the story into the projects and the concepts. With zombie-based learning, we use a zombie apocalypse to set the geography projects. So a student is now engaging in geography research and planning and presenting what they would do in a zombie apocalypse. In the ChronoZoomers Guild, we use a time travel story to teach history and students begin to research some of the causes of major historical events and think of how that would impact if it was changed by time travel. I know my students were really excited about project-based learning because they had choices, they could bring in their own interests, and they were participating in their own learning. 